Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Tamar Mizels, and today we're going to talk about circumcision. In Hebrew, we call this Brit Milah. We're going to talk about why Israeli Jews, even secular Jews, choose to do this. In fact, 97, 98%, according to surveys, perform this on their son. So we are going to get into the reasons and the root of why Israelis do this. First, let's talk a little bit about what this is. What is Brit Milah? What is circumcision? The word Brit in Hebrew means covenant. It's the covenant of the Mila. Mila means circumcision. This is a covenant between us and God sealed in our body. And it started with our forefather Abraham who made a covenant with God. In Jewish tradition, every male baby at the age of eight days gets circumcised, which means a part of the foreskin is removed in a procedure known as the Brit Mila. And at this joyous ceremony, the baby is also given a name. So over the years, Jews have gone to great lengths and even risked their lives to perform this mitzvah. But what's weird is that even today, when in the past several generations, most of the Jews are secular, they still choose to perform this mitzvah. Now, there are a few mitzvot and commandments that have a broad consensus among Israelis, things that Israelis like to do, like they like to light Shabbos candles, they like to light Hanukkah candles. I think about 80%, according to most surveys, do Leil HaSeder, where we commemorate leaving of Egypt. But out of all the mitzvot and all the commandments, the Brit Milah has the highest percentage. 97, 98% of Israeli Jews do this mitzvah. So we really have to understand what is so important about this mitzvah and why are Israelis doing this. Recently, a very well-known Israeli talk show host, Lior Schlein, and his, I was gonna say wife, not his wife, his life partner. Uh, she is a Knesset member, Merav Michaeli. Uh, they recently had a son together. He claims about himself that him and his wife are complete atheists, seculars. They don't believe in God. They don't believe in anything. And he wrote in his book that after much debate, uh, they decided to perform circumcision on their newborn son. And he wrote in his book that the reason he thinks that everybody does it in Israel is because everybody does it meaning he doesn't want his son to feel left out. Uh, it's something that can be detected and in the army or in showers and stuff like that. And he doesn't want his son to feel left out. Everyone else is doing it. But is this really the case? Is this the reason most Israelis do it? So no, actually, according to a survey, they asked Israelis, what is the main reason for you doing a bris for your son? And the answers were only 9% wrote that they don't want their son to feel different. Sorry, Schlein, you're wrong about this one. 13% for health reasons and 78% answered that it is a Jewish basic essential tradition that they want to take part of. Let's talk a minute about health reasons. Is it really recommended to do circumcision? There is evidence that circumcision has health benefits. It reduces infections and diseases, but some medical professionals say that these health benefits are either not that existent or not that great. American Academy of Pediatrics says that the benefits do outweigh the small risk in the procedure. In Israel, especially these uh, risks are quite small, about 0.3% they say that the benefits are not that great to automatically just recommend this to all newborns. Uh, so it's definitely, as you see, this whole health uh, benefits is something that can be debated and which is why only 13% of Israelis claim that this is the reason. So there is some truth to this, but this isn't the main reason. 78% said that the reason they're doing it is because it's a Jewish tradition. In this Jewish tradition, we are celebrating the entrance of this male into the covenant of Abraham between us and God. We are 
celebrating another Jewish male entering into the covenant of Abraham and into our nation. And the foreskin can represent uh, the moral flaw in this world that needs to be corrected and that's part of the Jewish people's role in this world to fight to make the world a better place, a more just place, a kinder place. Even though this role isn't always easy, we're not um, ending our end of the covenant. So even though most Jews are secular, they still can appreciate and be proud to be part of this special covenant, bringing their little guy into our unique special nation. Hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Bye, see you next time. <laughs>